Okie dokie. bitty little channel. We just left Costco here in Daegu. <coughs> Hi Carla. said there's going to be a storm coming tomorrow here in Korea. Thank you for your like. Thank you for supporting the channel. Tomorrow, <coughs> child day Hi, Nick. Is, <coughs> hmm? child, many child and mom cannot go outside. <laughs> oh, park. tomorrow's children's <laughs> day. Tema yeah, park. park is not good. Yeah, someone on the, the last live on said that Echo Land probably would be very busy, but if it's gonna rain a lot in in uh, Daegu tomorrow, then. But, but, but Friday and Saturday, Saturday is possible. Maybe yeah, better? Saturday, a little better. It's ah. 90%. <coughs> yeah. Saturday, 90%. Ninety percent. Ninety percent rain? Tomorrow, 100%. And the Sunday. Today rain? Today night. Oh. Today night coming. Yeah, Nick, tomorrow is Children's Day. It's a national holiday in Korea, so there's no school tomorrow. <laughs> so, but my husband said it's going to be raining a lot here in, in Korea tomorrow, so all the kids won't be able to go out and do stuff. Oh, it's been raining a lot in Connecticut. Uh, yeah, well, if you were on my TikTok live, you know that uh, I was, I was, my back was starting to hurt from the weather change. So I understand completely. <coughs> Thank you for the likes. I know. Poor kids finally get a day off of school and then it's going to be raining. That's the way it goes. so much for your likes and thank you for always supporting my little channel here I appreciate everything you guys do for us <coughs> yeah Martha got home just fine yeah she sent us some pictures and videos when she got home hopefully she'll come back to Korea again soon She had a lot of fun. Korea is a really, really nice place to be. I've been, <coughs> excuse me, my allergies are starting to kick in. Plus I've been talking a lot for the last hour and a half on the last live. <laughs> I've been, I'm doing good. A little tired now, we just finished a Costco live. Now we're just heading back home. Yeah, next she had a good time. Korea's a lot of fun. Korea's a great place to visit. And I love living here, so it works out good. Now I'm very tired. <coughs> you guys know those Costco lives can wear me out. 
Yeah, my back is hurting because um, I had I had three back surgeries when I was a paramedic in America, uh, and the weather's changing, so I can feel my spine, like right where the um, metal is in my back, is really achy. Oh, you're very welcome. We love doing the lives for you guys. And you guys requested the driving live after the Costco live, so that's why I'm alive right now because I got requests for it. <laughs> oh, I'm glad, Nick. I know you guys love seeing Costco. My pocketbook doesn't like doing Costco <laughs> lives, but they are fun. <laughs> can't leave Costco without being broke. Thank you for the like. Hi, Carla. That was really nice of you asking how my how my grandma grandma is doing. Um, I mean, she's doing okay. I'm really worried because she's 96 and I don't know if I'm gonna get a chance to go back to America to see her before anything happens. You know what I mean? I think I've only got so much time left before I need to save up and go back to America to see her again before she passes. She is, she's slowed down a lot since we were there. Yeah, grandma, what, um, about what, six months ago, maybe six months or a year ago, she got COVID and ever since then, like she can't walk around her neighborhood anymore or do any of the stuff that she used to do, um, which, you know, that's not good. That's not good at all, so. But I do call my mom and check on her pretty regularly, but, you know, it is a matter of time. Oh, thanks, Ben. I'm glad you enjoyed them. Hi, Lisa. Thank you for the likes that you guys do, too, and thank you for all your support, your donations, and everything. Just being here really helps. And watching the ads helps, too. <coughs> thank you so much. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, she's 96, but she, you guys know, you've seen her on my lives and videos. She's, she, she didn't look a day over 80, really. She would walk around the neighborhood every morning with her little walker, but now she can't. Hi, Sindora. I promised you. You asked, I delivered. <laughs> you guys wanted the driving live. I brought it to you. Oh, I'm glad, Nick. I appreciate all your guys being here. I guess I can try to zoom in a little bit more so you guys can have a little more of a view. Yeah, Nick, it's on my, my TikTok page. Of her wearing a um, Star Wars TIE Fighter pilot hat, cooking me breakfast. Mm, I think one from us swimming. Yeah, my 96-year-old grandmother was fit as a fiddle until until then. Yeah. So I need to get back to America to see her, but it's so expensive. You can see here in Korea, we're probably going to have some kind of storm coming. Hi, KW. Thanks for being in and saying hi. Thanks for your support and all your guys' likes. Every time you come in and chat and like and donate, all that stuff helps my little itty bitty channel. <laughs> Thank you for being here, honey. Oops, I can't read. Ah, uh, uh, thanks, Nick. No, I don't drive in Korea because I haven't gotten around to um, exchanging my driver's license yet. I just haven't done it. I've been so busy. <coughs> Thank you for the like. Oh, Kelly's getting storms too. Mm. But it's, since it's less common for you guys in California, I know flooding is more of a problem. But here in Korea, we need the rain because it's we've had a bit of a dry spell and there's been a lot of wildfires already this season and it hasn't even started yet. So we can we need the rain to keep the wildfires at bay because you can see how close those mountains are to all the cities. A wildfire in Korea can really cause a lot of damage. So we need to we need some rain. 
oh, it's raining in San Francisco. Well, according to my husband, we're going to get some rain here in Daegu tonight and tomorrow, which is, we don't get very much rain in Daegu, so I'm, I'm excited. Since I used, I was an Oregonian, uh, you know, it rains nine months out of the year in Oregon, so I like the rain. I'm sure Texas needs rain too. I feel like just about everyone needs rain these days. Isn't Korea just beautiful? I love that we can show you guys that. Especially now with all the trees with all their foliage on them. It's gorgeous. Oh, you know I'm not ready for summer. They, Africa. Oh, Africa. Yeah, Daegu is the hottest city in the country, so uh, I dread it every year. <laughs> Africa. Africa. Oh, you're so welcome, Nick. Well, as you can see, you know, not a lot of people watch the, the lives, but I know you guys like them, so we do them anyway. Yeah, Africa. Muggy there. It was muggy in Costco and, uh, during the live. And between that and my, oh, I see a fire helicopter. I don't think you guys can see it's, a, it's up in the clouds, but there's a fire helicopter. So there's a wildfire somewhere not too far away. Because he's got the little water bucket under his helicopter. But, mm, there he is. I hope it's not in Mungyong or Chongdo again. Yeah, we got fire helicopter. Yeah, you guys can't see it. It's, it's to my left now. Sindoro, I think that's a fabulous idea. Because <laughs> I hate summer so much. I think that's a great idea. I love it. Yeah, we definitely need the rain. I've been seeing a lot of the wildfire helicopters around, so. <laughs> well, you guys know, you hear me complain all summer long about the heat here in Korea. <laughs> but it's so, Korea is so beautiful and so wonderful. It's worth tolerating just to get through it. <laughs> Yeah, and like I told you guys, you can see how mountainous South Korea is. So a wildfire is very dangerous here because it threatens cities and homes really easily. Uh, no, we have air conditioning and fans, but the thing is, is that like it's like in my apartment, I can keep it nice and cool. But the Raza Korea seems to have a thing about being, I don't know, it's like, they're always cold, so they won't turn the ACs on. Even you'll go into like the, the malls and the department stores and they'll be hot and humid too. And stuffy, that, I feel like that's the worst part is that just every building feels stuffy inside because, oh, I, yeah. It's not like, you know, like in America where in the summertime, like the major malls and stuff will have the air, con, air conditioning on so you can go and feel cool while you're shopping. In Korea, it's not like that. They're always still hot. I don't get it. It's like they're always, they, they're just like, oh, it's not that hot when I, like, Americans are sweating bullets. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever be, if I'll ever adapt to the summer in Korea. I don't know. Probably not because I'm 45 and I spent most of my life as an Oregonian where the weather is cold and rainy all the time. So that's just what my blood is used to. <laughs> maybe I don't know but I don't <coughs> but it's really humid in Korea in the summertime and it's dry the rest of the year it's just humid in the summer but I feel like that makes the stuffiness like this this it just yeah the stuffiness is what I don't like because it in, the, in a room with that humidity and heat it just you feel like you can't breathe because it's just so uncomfortable 
but I can get through it because Korea's worth it. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, humidity. I, I just can't tolerate it. Between all my autoimmune diseases and my Oregon blood, I just can't, I can't do it. Oregon blood? Yep, I got Oregon <laughs> blood. Cold and rainy, dry blood. Even though it rains all the time in Oregon, it's not humid. I don't know how that works, but it's not. We are, well, I mean, our seasons are the same as America, but I feel like it feels longer because it starts earlier in spring. It gets hot really quickly here in Daegu. Uh, and then it seems to drag through September. That's why I always tell people October is a lovely time to visit Korea because it can still be in the 70s in October, but the humidity is, is it, the humidity is almost all gone in, in October. Yeah, Oregon and Washington are getting hotter too, but um, I mean, everywhere in the world, the weather is getting weird. For sure. Thank you for the likes, you guys. No, it's not a freeway. It's just a major road in, or a main road in Daegu. We were on a highway a little bit ago. Now we're next to the monorail in Daegu. Sindoro, I'll probably do that next time because um, I'm just gonna let Younghol buy it because I'm gonna go. He's dropping me off at home with the Costco stuff uh, because I really need to rest. My back hurts and my lupus is kicking in after doing two lives today. And then Younghol is gonna probably do some. He's gonna be on standby to try to do some door lock work to help pay for the rest of our groceries at Costco. <laughs> TikTok lives at 7-Eleven, or TikTok videos at 7-Eleven before, but I will. I'll make another one soon. There's 7-Elevens within walking distance of everyone's homes in Korea. If not 7-Eleven, then CU, or uh, there's lots of convenience stores. So I'll get that for you. I'm just really tired now. I need some rest. Hopefully you'll get lots of orders. Orders? Oh, my husband? Mm. I hope so too. Because we just paid all our bills, so we're dirt broke. <laughs> yeah, the water soda wasn't wasn't great. <laughs> I get I get Fanta at Costco once a month. And the one time this month I go, it's water. <laughs> problem <coughs> thank you for your likes you guys beep, 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 beep. did you call Che brother yeah. mm -hmm. well, yeah, you, bro. well you know I mean I don't I you know I'll probably end the live soon because I don't like to have the live going too close to my home for safety reasons, I like to end way before I get in my neighborhood. Um, but yeah, Costco's not not that close. It's you know probably I don't know 30, 40 minute drive, something like that. It's on the other side of Daegu, and Daegu is a big city. There's like two or three million people here. <laughs> you keep ending up on Korean TikTok, but I love it. That's funny. That's funny. Oh, you're so welcome, Nick. I'm glad you guys like it. Well, 
Well, you guys, I'm probably going to end now because I'm not sure where we're at and I don't want to be surprised that we're in my neighborhood. So I'll probably end the live now. But thank you so much for being here and thanks for being on both of our lives and always being so supportive. And thank you for your, any of your super chats and your super thanks and whatever they are and all your, your likes and just being here chatting with us. You guys are such sweethearts. But I'm going to go home and rest now because I'm beat. <laughs> Thank you so much, and we'll see. What? Monorail. monorail. Oh, he wants you to see the monorail. There it is. There you go. Now you can see the monorail. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'll see you soon. Annyeong.